Game Ranks presents 10 things gamers can do to lose weight while gaming. And this list does not include actual exercise games, because no, we want to play real video games. And look, we're not throwing around stereotypes or anything, I'm very guilty of being a lazy gamer. But we gotta be real, gaming is a sit-down hobby where you don't really do anything, so here's some ways to fix that. So let's get started with number 10. The first and most obvious thing you could do is get a standing desk. If you play a lot of MMOs all day like World of Warcraft, apparently standing up at your desk while playing all day can burn over 300 calories, just from standing. Number 9. Another alternative is a bit of an interesting experiment, Project Excite Bike. This is an exercise bike that's been outfitted with technology that controls acceleration in racing games. Yeah, some guy on Reddit said you can actually make it with $70 worth of parts. That being said, I'm no scientist or engineer, I, I can't do that. But this is one gaming exercise thing I could actually see myself doing. Number 8. And here's another awesome alternative, check out this guy. He just put a treadmill in front of his TV. He is literally walking into Mordor. Number seven. People are getting really creative and combining some of our other points. This is a standing desk with a basic simple treadmill underneath it. I'm still not convinced. I feel like walking on a treadmill will make games really difficult to play. But at the same time, this is absolutely huge. You could walk miles while playing video games. And it'll keep your legs and your butt from rotting away. Number six. The fifth thing on our list is this badass. He built a PlayStation controller into his exercise bike with analog thumbsticks and all. He could probably make a really good profit selling these things. Because I know most of us have no capability of actually making something like that. Because we're too busy sitting on the couch playing games. Number Number five. But speaking of sitting on your ass and playing games, there's this mobile app called Fit Freeway. This is a racing style game that you prop up on your exercise bike or your treadmill. The accelerometer is in the device to detect motion and use that to accelerate in game. The coolest part is that the front facing camera tracks your head motion so you can steer by tilting your head. So not only are you doing cardio, but you're getting some neck exercises as well. Number four. This, however, might take the cake on being the best gaming exercise hack. Look at this badass. He modded his exercise bike to play Super Mario Kart. If I had that, I would literally exercise forever. And I don't use the word literally very lightly. Number three. We're down to the final three things on our list, and we have Zombie Run, an iOS and Android app that makes your jogs a bit of an RPG style game. You walk, jog, or run with this app and your headphones in, and you actually hear mission, music, and dialogue play out through your headphones. Certain scenarios happen, and you start getting chased by zombies, so you have to run faster. It's really cool, and it's very much like an RPG because you collect supplies, build different bases, and there's something over like 200 missions. It's crazy. So if you ever wanted to gamify a boring old jog, Zombies Run might be the way to do it. Can you see what's happening? Number two. Speaking of making things more exciting, this guy combined an Oculus Rift, the Kinect, and a special stationary bicycle to make Paperboy a real thing. Yes, you pedal your bike along streets like you're actually there, and you get to throw newspapers. Yes, many, many, many years ago when there were newspapers and delivery boys, this is how young children got exercise. And now you can do it in the comfort of your own home with expensive technology. Good job, you. You did it. Number one. And last but not least on our list, the ultimate way to get exercise while not actually playing an actual exercise game is playing DDR. Yes, Dance Dance Revolution. Isn't it obvious? Haven't you ever seen some guy sweating his ass off playing that game trying to keep up with his date? Or there's always just that one person completely showing off and kicking ass. And they're usually pretty fit. Because they play a lot of DDR. And so should you. I mean, if you like that type of thing. You could also look like a total idiot if you don't know what you're doing. I've actually fallen and gotten a concussion by playing DDR. So don't be like me, kids. Safety first. Play DDR with a helmet. So guys, those were 10 things you can do to get a little exercise while playing video games. Some of these are completely stupid, but some of them are fun and some of them are very practical. So let us know in the comments below if you would actually do any of these things. Do you want to make exercise a little fun and incorporate it into your hobbies, or do you want to do it the old-fashioned way? Let's talk about it down below. And as always, if you learned something and maybe had a good time, click the like button, because it really helps us out. And subscribing if you're new is even better, because we do videos like this, we do lists, and we're working on new giveaways. Shh. But as always, I'm Jake Baldino, and thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.